so far I've heard that Turkish buses happen to be pretty luxurious. Uh, I'm not sure how true that is, but tonight we're gonna take an overnight Turkish bus. So, I'm on my second overnight Turkish bus, and it's pretty decked out, I think. Got an HD flat screen monitor, and a USB cord that powers my iPhone, headphone jack, light. It's kind of cool. So it's pretty styling. I even heard we have free Wi-Fi, I think, on this bus. That's pretty refined. It's just no uh, outlet to charge a laptop. I think those Myanmar buses kind of spoiled me. But still, this is pretty nice. And a lot of people were telling me that the buses here are just amazing and they'll redefine your perspective of traveling long distance via bus. So I definitely had to try this out. Touch screen. A lot of it's in Turkish though. I can't read Turkish. <coughs> but I can guess. Drama, comedy, biography. I'm not sure what those are. Let's try comedy. FBI from Butthead investigation. It's charging right now. So we're off. My bus said that I was gonna go, that they were gonna take me to Sultan Ahmed, uh, but really they were gonna drop us off at Aksaray. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And we needed to catch the, the tram or the metro to Sultan Ahmed. So that wasn't clear. Was terrified, wasn't sure if I was gonna make it to the right stop. Felt lost for a bit. But sometimes you just gotta trust the process, um, follow the foreigners, read gestures, and trust yourself. Here I am, finally, at the station. Now you can see how this was confusing to me. And there are two types of transportations. Really the metro I went in was not the transportation I, was, I need to take. I actually needed to take the tram. I didn't know that. I'm gonna go, I was directed to take the tram around the, the, around that building. I think when I find it, I'll be on the right path. So I'll follow the bags. I'll follow the rolling bags, unless they stop in a different area. I'm definitely taking the next one. Morning traffic. And I think I'm taking the next one after that.